Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, this is different. We're starting a new weekly and it is what do you fear the most? Aries, what fears do you have that's happening in your life where you can't move on? So it looks like a change of perspective needs to happen. So what you fear the most is hap is like, oh gosh, in, in love, whatever has happened, right? This, all the, all these disappointments, the actions of others. It's like your, your perspective, you fear that if you don't, well, what Spirit's saying is if you don't change your perspective, what you fear is going to happen again. Okay. So it is about, we need to, I mean, grant you it's probably, you probably have a lot of um, reason to believe that all this is going to happen all over again. Yeah, it's going to happen over all over again. Look at that. I, Aries, you're worried that it's just going to reoccur again, whether it's love or whatever, or between between you and others, like blowouts, blow, you know, blowing up, not being able to tame your inner anger. You're, you try really hard to hang in there and not let it be seen, but this is very real. This explosive, actions the explosive like you get pissed off so easy you shout something out that hurts others or hurts yourself and spirit saying change the that change the trajectory of the way that you have to feel like you have inner anger issues or something Right? This is like anger management. So, and it comes out for others to see. You know, you you just blatantly say something like, no, um, you don't have a filter when something triggers you. These are triggers. And spirit's saying you just need to chill. Okay. Now that's not going to apply to all, you know, it's a general, but that's intense. Okay. Taurus. Taurus. Wow. Should we stop at the seven of swords? Like who's the, your biggest fear is People just keep telling you lies and hurting you. And maybe they don't even realize that they're doing it. Right? People say hurtful things. Right? People are saying hurtful things to you. And all you want to do is just say, come on already. You know? Like, let's let it, let it go. I feel that what others are saying to you is hurting you because the truth, okay, so the truth sets you free, but it still hurts. So what others are saying to you, Taurus, is hurting your feelings. Look at that. Yeah, you're reversed. You're like, I don't like what, I don't like how others are talking to you, or to me, you know, to you. 
I don't like what they're saying. It hurts my feelings and it's hurtful. And you're not addressing it. I feel that you're keeping it to yourself. You may want to address it. If you hear stuff, Taurus, if you're hearing other people just lie or manipulate situations, you gotta speak up. And that could be a huge fear that you have speaking up and telling the truth to others. Not being, you know, not staying in the nice, nice, too nice zone. Right? When you can blatantly see what's going on. Gemini. Right? Gemini. So, Gemini, you fear that in emotional situations, you fear that, like, the worst is going to happen. It's like the next shoe drop, the shoe dropping, right? Your biggest fear is having someone walk away. And surprise, I'm gone. Emotionally unavailable people, Gemini. You fear that in, in love situations that people just will walk away or maybe you walk away too soon. It is a fear that what you really want is a long-term relationship and you fear that others may be not wanting the same things that you do, right? In terms of emotional availability, like they leave before you can even, you know, that's your biggest fear. That could be abandonment issues, right? Childhood stuff. Cancers. Cancers. So, Cancers, you fear <laughs> that, like, I'm, like, not in charge of my life and that I really know, I know better. I know that I should walk away from things that are not that I'm not, I have no power over, not making money, not making enough money, child support. I fear that someday you may be saying to yourself, I don't know if I'll ha have the means later on. So I got to either go back to school and figure it out. I feel like your, your inner self really wants to walk away and live like off the grid cancers i feel like some of you just want to live off the grid and maybe you know you've always wanted to be i don't know they're saying the headmaster right of your own domain but i feel what you really want is to just get off the grid and and get off that hamster wheel of how much money you make and what it is you really want. I think you want a simple life. And I feel that you are conflicted about it. The confliction is right here. Do I want a simple life where I don't have to just like knock it out all the time? I have to always be emotionally available for everyone and taking charge of my life means walking away from those people who think that's what I want. I feel you're conflicted emotionally about what kind of lifestyle that you're wanting. So make a decision, but I feel a lot of you just want to get off the grid and get out of 
what others think you should be doing in life. Don't listen to what others say that others want or what others are doing. Okay? Do what you want. What is it that cancer wants? Okay. Listening to others won't, you know, or, or, you know, the trajectory of that whole American dream thing needs to be revisited. All right, Leos. Leos. Okay, this is health. I'm telling you right now. Health. Yep. I feel that your body, you're worried that your body is failing. Not failing as in death. I feel that you're worried that in, at any moment, something could happen physically to you. Not so much a hypochondriac feeling, not like that. I just feel that you're worried, more worried than anything about the pains in your body and the changes over time of those bodily changes, right? Like, oh my God, my back hurts today so much more than it did yesterday or my knees or I just really don't want something to break down. It's all something that your inner working is about your body and your health. I feel you're worried that your body is not like it used to be. Well, it probably isn't, but are you doing, taking the steps needed for, for not experiencing a tower moment like, right? Love your body, Leos. It's time to say, I love my body. I love my body inside, inside, and out. It's time to talk to your body, Leos, and tell your body how much you love it. Masculine and feminine here are both needing to heal. So it's about your body. It's like, what can I do to make my body healthier? Instead of, oh shit, something's going to happen. And convincing yourself maybe that it will and it won't. Not, in, not unless you not speak. You, Leos, just speak with love to your body. Okay, Virgo. 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 So is your fear someone leaving you for another? Are you talking yourself into wanting to leave for maybe you want to leave a commitment or is something or someone it's kind of like that um It's like, oh my God, they're beautiful. I could never get that person because they look so good. But it's kind of like, you know, when you look at someone who's really gorgeous and you say to yourself, I wish I could get someone that, right, like this. And I would gladly... You know, I would marry him in a heartbeat because they look so good. So Virgo, let's talk about superficiality. Are we being superficial about what someone looks like more than what they can offer? Or are you involved or in a relationship and, right? And what you're not doing, you're, you're trying not to. You're trying not to let your thoughts get the best of you. Wanting this does not always imply they have to be ex 
like that beauty queen externally. I feel like you're having this inner outer uh, perception of what it is that you really want in a relationship that you would commit to. Or if you are in a relationship, do you tend to look at it and think to yourself, well, I wish I was with them instead of who you're with. Or I don't think I could get them. That kind of vibe, Virgo. Not believing in yourself, thinking you could actually get someone who's, who's ex externally beautiful. Libra. Libra. Libras. Well, always wanting to make sure that we have money in the bank at all times. I feel that your biggest fear is not having the money to do and go as you please, to hang with people socially, to go to social gatherings, to do what you want. I feel you're so focused on your finances right now, Libra. You could be waiting for that, like that one, that one break. And you may fear it not coming. Look at her face. All you need is a break. And if, if you can just keep your nose to the grindstone, work, work, and you're gonna, you will catch a break. Even though you don't think you're gonna catch it, it's gonna happen. And it's going to happen sp like spontaneously, right? Or you're never going to meet the right person. When will I be happy? Libra, that's what you're thinking. If it's not financial, because now this came out. When will I be happy again? In a relationship and will it... Are you fearful that when in a relationship that are you fearful that they have to have the means to make you happy? So when you're, when you're Libra, when you're looking, cause you know, you're balancing, you're the scales, we're the scales. So in love, and relationships, in relationship with people in general, do people have, they have to, your fear is that they won't see you, value you, and love you for just you. Do you feel like you have to put on or display some sort of a persona that, or them, do they have to have enough financial stability to keep you happy? When am I going to meet the right person? Am I ever going to meet someone that's true to my heart? And some of you fear that you won't. But why is that? Look deeper. Scorpios. Scorpios, what is your biggest fear? Your biggest fear, Scorpio, is having people that you love walk out of your life. Not being emotionally available is a fear. But I feel that it could be that you walk away from being emotionally available. Are you fear, fearing commitment? Do you fear 
having a commitment when you're in it. Too good to be true kind of vibe, right? Too good to be true and that someone has options. See what I mean? It's like when you get really close for some of you, it's a general, when you get really close in a relationship to someone, does it automatically happen where you're emotionally distant? Because I feel some of you are not able to be emotionally ready for commitment. So you walk before you can, you run before you can walk. You know what I'm saying? Emotional unavailability for some of you. Want the, wanting the beautiful people too. What's wrong with that? I never said it. anything's wrong with it. But think about why sometimes you run before you can commit. Some of you, it's not going to happen for all. All right, uh, Saggies. Saggies. What is your biggest fear? Wow, look at this. Okay, for some of you, okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Saggy, some of you fear that you're not, you're not going to continue looking youthful and sexy and hot and beautiful. You're fearing aging. Some of you fear aging. Aging too soon. Maybe you're looking at, you know, you're looking at your parents don't shoot me. You're looking at your parents and saying, shit, I don't want to look like that when I get old. And, okay, I'm going to say it. For some of you, you know that if you work out and eat right, you're not going to fear aging. Fear of aging is very... You know, some may say, oh, well, that's not a fear, but, you know, you can talk yourself out of it, but, right? You have to work on, you got to work on your body to keep it young. Eating right, working out daily. And that's, what is it? It's you, your energy always needs to be moving. Move that energy, work out, eat healthy, and let Mother Nature take its course. But you do have a fear of aging. I mean, I'm not going to say that we all don't, but that came up for you, Saggy, today. You know, maybe you're having... You know, you're seeing other people at work. They're younger or they're whatever. You know what I mean? Or people you're hanging with. Or maybe that's the maybe that's the elixir of youth, right? It is how you think. All right, let's go. Cap. Capricorns. This uh, Queen of Wands has come out already three, four times. Three times for sure. So your biggest fear is... Some of you, I'm going to say it, some of you, your biggest fear is becoming a mom or not being able to become a mother. Some of you wanting to become a mother really bad, but not sure if you're ready. Some of you have been like single and really loving being a mom or wanting to get pregnant, but also emotionally not ready to be a parent and your body changing, right? This, what's that? There's a song or there's something, yes, where, you know, I, 
can't remember it now. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're going from this externally, right? Feeling really vibrant and really sexy and good about how you're going to look, but worried that when you get pregnant, you'll be like, you know, expansion happens, that kind of thing. So it, it is a fear of what's my body going to look like when I get pregnant? Or if you're pregnant, you're fearing that your body will no, never go back to its like original shape or size. Yeah, it is. It's about how your, oh, and it's how your person's going to feel about when they see you pregnant. What's so-and-so going to think of me when I'm pregnant? Are they going to still love me the same way? Are they going to love me for my inner beauty or my outer beauty? Inner, outer. And if you're not, if it's not about pregnancy, it's just like as we get older and wiser, are people going to love us for the way we look in general? Are you it? Capricorn? You're worried that your person may not like you transitioning into motherhood or you don't look the same as you did when you first met this person. And it's all in your head. I'm just saying. It's how you're feeling. This isn't about them. Okay. Um, wow. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh. Okay. Aquarius. It is about... You're worried someone's going to walk away and either not get hitched. I feel some of you are worried that someone's not going to end up going, like, getting married, marrying you. I feel like some of you are worried that you're never going to get married. And others, I do feel, I'm going to say it, I feel some of you, if you're, you know... If you are having um, thoughts of someone's not, you know, is getting up there in age, you're worried that they're not going to, you know, be around for much longer. You may be worried and praying that someone doesn't, you know, cross over. You could be fearful of that in your own self. Fear of dying. Right? That's very, you know, fear of death. Hello. Some of you are fear of someone dying or your, your own death. Yes, that's what it is. I'm not kidding. Fear of death, Aquarius. Why? We're all going there. <laughs> we're right behind you or we're right in front of you. Don't be worried. We can't do anything about it, so make the best of it while we're here. All right. I love you guys. Come on. Pisces, what do you fear the most? What do you fear the most? Oh, Pisces. Are we worried about how others see us what they think about us or how what what others are you worried about not worried i'm sorry pisces are you projecting that's what they want to say are you projecting the actions of what others do you're projecting um are you judging and or projecting how like kids act, like act your age? Are they acting their age? Are you worried about the future of the next generation? How will these children 
take care of their lives when I'm gone. Are we internally seeing the actions of children as being, I mean, Pisces, I really feel it's when I'm gone, what are these, what is the next generation going to do? How are they going to survive? Pisces. Yep. How are children and my children and their children going to survive? Survive relationships, survive love and relationships and the actions that take place. How are they going to make it? I'm just going to take one more. Pisces, yeah. The future of the youth, future of the youthful gen of the next generation or two to come. What are they going to do when I'm gone? Okay. Wow. All right. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell me if you like that. It's a little shorter than usual for a weekly, but you know, we don't need an hour to let us know what our biggest fears are, right? Let's do a collective. A lot of that's coming out right now, right? Virgo, Virgo. So let's try to analyze and strategically find a plan and or put a plan in place as to why we fear the things that we fear. The details of what we fear the most is where our growth elevates, expands. We will grow And this is how we grow. By looking at the details of what we fear the most in life. Okay? So, take a good look, right? I'm hearing the song. Who is that? It's um, Phil Collins. Take a look at yourself. Okay. I send you guys much, much love and light and blessings. Like, subscribe, and share. Take care.